Zola is an A24 produced movie. This is a movie that I had no idea what it was about going into. I think I might have seen the trailer one time, but given as how I didn't know anything about it, I'm going to assume that you guys will probably want to do the same because I know for myself, if I could revisit it, I would say keep it the same way, Chad. Keep it the same way that you went into because honestly, guys, going in this movie blind as possible is the best way because there are, there's a lot of things about this movie that... I'm glad I didn't know about like certain things that the director decided to use, like certain stylistic choices. Like I really liked the way this movie was shot. I thought the movie was shot very well. It utilized a lot of interesting choices in regards to like the color. The color especially I liked. I think that they utilized a lot of interesting variables in terms of the color palette that really honestly emphasized what was going on because this movie is it's a delicate balance. Like the tone is a delicate balance of dark and then comedy. And it, it's, it's very interesting how that fine line goes between one moment, it's like, holy cow, this is really serious. The next moment characters are laughing and then we as audience members can't help but also laugh. Um, and then we also have performances. Let's be honest, we have performances that are really good. Very strong performances, especially the one that plays Zolo. I, I just, Ryan Kaler, I was very much so surprised. I shouldn't say surprised per se, but like, Watching it, I was like, I think that's her, the actress. I was like, I think that's right, Kayu, but I wasn't quite sure. It wasn't until afterwards when I looked her up, I was like, wow, she really transformed herself. Like, I loved it. I loved the accent that she used, and I really liked how she really went full force. Everything was put into it. She did a great job. I really liked it. I also loved, um, I already mentioned the cinematography, but I really liked the editing choices spliced in with the way that, you know, the shots were composed and everything, because... The editing, especially during like the hotel scene, I think it was like, I call it the, I think it was $8,000 scene. You'll know it when, I, when you see it. It's, it's a montage involving men. That scene I thought was very well done. It reminded me a lot of, honestly, um, Nymphomaniac. Nymphomaniac had a scene similar and I had a similar reaction, but this one, it was more comedic. And honestly, the comedy for this scene really did make me laugh. I, I really dug it, especially during that scene. And then... I thought the themes and messages were interesting too. Um, you know, just about how like you don't truly know a person, especially after a day or two. And it's like how slowly over time you get to know them and it's like, ooh, do I really want to spend time with this individual? So I, I, I liked that. I thought that they were interesting messages. And again, a lot of time is spent to these characters. Like a lot of time is given to flesh them out. And by that, I mean, not necessarily through the dialogue, but through how these characters interact with certain situations that come up. That in itself is character development. And I thought that was really well done in that aspect. Very strong. Now, I will say in terms of the negatives, I will say at the very beginning of the movie, it did take me a little bit to get into it. But once I got into it, I was on board. I really dug it. Um, and then the ending, the very last scene, it, it wasn't bad. It's just not memorable. Um, I saw this movie like several, several days ago. And I don't really remember the ending. I remember what happens right before the ending, but I don't remember the ending itself. So it just, it kind of shows you how memorable that ending is. But in the end, guys, I, like I said, I really enjoy this movie. It's another slice of life, A24 movie that does a really good job of making you entertained. Also at the same time, really appreciating the filmmaking aspects, particularly the cinematography. One thing I also forgot to mention, you know, again, I know I mentioned a lot of positives, but the usage of sound, the usage of sound and the score was really good. And honestly, the soundtrack, those songs that were chosen were really good. So overall, again, I was very happy with this movie. Zolo is a breath of fresh air. This is definitely one of my favorite movies of 2021 as of right now. You know, obviously we're only in July, but as of right now, it is one of my favorite movies of this year. And honestly, I could definitely see myself picking this up on Blu-ray because for me, it's a hit. Zolo, I will be giving a four to five star rating, which gets the good old Louisiana Pure Crystal Hot Sauce. So yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on Zolo. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this um, about Zolo. It's not going to be for everyone. It's not. It's a very oddball movie. It's very strange. Um, it's a lot of art house esque filmmaking choices that are utilized. I myself dug it, but again, it's not going to be for everyone. But anyways, guys, again, thank you very much for watching. Like the subscription, notification bell, and Allah. Catch you guys later.